Hey guys, it's Cooper with Iron Cowboy CrossFit. Uh, this is day one of your workouts. We wanted to make sure that you get to uh, you get some proper instruction on some of the movements that we're going to be seeing often. First one, and probably the most important one, we're going to see is the air squat. So I have Kyler here. She's going to help uh, demo some air squats. And we're going to kind of talk through some uh, key coaching points. That I want to make sure that you guys are paying attention to when you're doing your squats. Okay, so first off, we're going to have Kyler do is any squats. Face the camera, please. Are gonna, she's going to set up shoulder width with her feet, okay? So you have hip width and you have shoulder width. We want to be shoulder width when we squat, okay? Now, um, can you turn to 45 for me? There you go, right there. Okay, now from the side profile, you guys can see right, right now her, her core is tight. She's got a good neutral spine. We want to make sure we try to maintain that. So I'm going to have her hold her arms up just in front of her face, okay? And then she's bracing her belly, okay? So I always think, how do I brace my belly? I think if I was going to smack or tap Kyler in the belly, right, you kind of squeeze and you brace your core. Okay, you need to be working on that the whole time you're squatting so you're not rounding your back. Okay, now just for uh, demo purposes, I'm going to put a ball behind her. You guys feel free to use anything at home like a ball, uh, a low cooler uh, type of stool, anything that you can use to help you hit a certain depth. Okay, and I get some of you guys aren't going to always be at the ideal depth that we want, but find that depth that challenges you appropriately. Okay, so go ahead and arms up. Okay, the first motion I want her to do is I want her to send her hips back and down towards the ball. Okay, go ahead, pause. Right there, so you can see your hip is the first thing that moves, come up. What a lot of people wanna do, and what we wanna to try to avoid is squatting with our knees first, right? Go ahead, like that. You can see your knees bent first, okay? So butt back is good. Go ahead, keep going, pause, go back forward. And now knees first is bad. Go ahead, knees first, okay? Good, rest. When we go knees first, right, what we're doing is we're gonna load the knee joint, and that's what is gonna cause a lot of you guys to say, hey, I need knees, or when I squat, my knees are hurting, okay? So we wanna avoid knees first, okay? So we're gonna go butt back, just like she did. The other thing, here, let's turn a little bit towards the camera more, you know? So you guys saw the butt back. Okay, now hopefully you can see her knees. What I wanna make sure is that her knees don't cave together, okay? So she's gonna squat for me to the ball, and she's driving her knees out. Good, up. Okay, give me three in a row. So she, notice she's driving out hard, and go ahead and pause on the bottom, and her knee is tracking in line with her toe, okay? What we don't want, good, push your knees in, is your knees caving together at any point during the down or the up phase of the squat, right? Because that's gonna be harder on the knees, it's not as strong of a position, okay? So as you're doing that, if you feel like you catch yourself caving in with your knees, there's a couple things you can think about. One is think about corkscrewing your feet in the ground, right? You're twisting your feet into the ground, and that's gonna help externally rotate the hips and knees. The other thing you can think about is just pushing, right? So like if I'm pushing right here, she's trying to push hard into my hand. All right, good, rest. Okay, now let's turn back uh, facing that way a little bit. I'm gonna take the ball away. I wanna talk about the final point, which is the depth that we're trying to achieve, which is our hip crease below the knee. Okay, go ahead and squat for me. Okay, pause. Okay, notice her hip crease right here is just at or just below the knee. That's what we'd like. Okay, come up. Okay, and then as you get down, some of you guys are gonna have a harder time keeping your chest vertical. Okay, if you need to, if you're looking like this, it's not the end of the world, but we wanna try to really fight for good posture, okay, as we're squatting. Good, come up, give me three more. Okay, notice her foot, her whole foot staying flat on the ground. Okay, she's not creeping up on your toes. Go ahead, creep up on your toes for me. Right, she's not letting her heels come off of the ground like that. Okay, keep that whole foot flat. Okay, rest. Something that can help you guys Okay, and this is a little bit heavy, but I'll make her use it for now, is if you feel like you're getting pulled forward really far, or if you feel like um, the chest, if the chest is dropping or you're having a hard time staying on your heels, you can hold a counterweight out in front of you. It doesn't have to be heavy. You know, something really light. Could even just be like a book, um, anything that you have at your house that's available, but you're gonna hold it out in front of you, and, and that's gonna be a nice counterweight as you squat. Is that too heavy? There you go. Look how much more vertical her chest is for us. Okay, that's what we want. Good rest, okay? Now, finally, again, I'm talking to a wide range of people. So if you're unable to do these, right, you guys need to start to scale and modify in a lot of different ways. Now, this is a really high box, and I'm going to demo for a second because it's probably too high for Kyler, right? But if I'm really stiff in my hips, we have 45 days to progress through this program. If you start and you feel like you cannot do anything close to that demo, right, what I can do is I can just sit back onto this box and start from there, right? And it seems silly, right, maybe if you're uh, a little more advanced, but for all of us, we don't know where your fitness level is. So you gotta just progress yourself, right? Start at a high box and progress yourself down. But remember this, if you're not challenging yourself, right? And making, something, making yourself work for it, it's probably not giving you the stimulus you need 
to make change, right? So make sure it's hard enough that you're going to see some change. And by the end of the 45 days, you know, if this is where you started on a 24 inch height box, that you're maybe going to like a 20 inch or a 16 inch box. Okay? And again, be creative, use stuff around your house, chairs, um, you know, coolers are great. But my perfect example for the uh, squat is if you can squat to the toilet, you could probably squat that, that low without it, right? So at least try that if you can. And uh, good luck on the air squats. We're going to be doing a lot of squats in this program. Um, hopefully your squat can improve throughout the program.